right, number 13. Anne and Keisha leave their campsite at the same time. Anne hikes due east at two miles an hour. Keisha heads 65 degrees east of north at three miles an hour. To the nearest tenth of a mile, what is the distance between the hikers after three hours? All right, so if it's three hours, let's do some computing. So, <clears throat> Keisha, let's see, Ann hikes due east at two miles an hour. So if she hikes for three hours, how many miles has she gone? Two times three would give me six, right? That's what I would think that length would be. And Keisha is going three miles an hour. So that would put her at nine miles here. If this is 65 degrees and this forms a right angle, probably 90 minus 65 would give me 25 degrees. So that's what this angle would be right here, would be 25 degrees. If I wanted to find this distance, probably use the law of cosine. So I would go like this, distance is equal to the square root. We have 6 squared plus 9 squared minus 2 times 6 times 9 times the cosine of 25 degrees. All right, so quickly, then this becomes 36 plus 81 minus see 2 times 6 is 12 12 times 9 is 108 so I have 108 times the cosine of 25 degrees so my next step then would be to add these two together so 6 and 1 is 7 and 8 and 3 is 11 so I have 117 minus 108 cosine 25 so let's multiply these first because we want the proper order of operations. So 117, whoops, level 4, 117 minus. So with our handy dandy calculator here, let's go ahead and multiply, making sure we're in the proper mode, which we are, degree mode. So let's clear that out. So we're going to go 108 times cosine 25 and we wind up with 97.88 97.88 let's subtract that from 117 so we're going to go 117 minus that previous answer which is second and little white minus key and we wind up getting 19.12 approximately D is in the square root of 19.12, 19.12. So we'll come back here. Now we're going to find the square root of that. So we take the square root of that answer. And we wind up getting 4.37. So 4.4 if we go to the nearest tenth. So D is approximately 